Well, I was laying back at the rooster garden. It's uh, May the 7th afternoon. Still trying to organize and this uh, patio outside patio. I still got my flowers on the rack there. First one thing another, I got my picnic table over here. So, um, still trying to figure out what I'm going to do and how I'm going to do all this stuff. But it's coming back together. So, it's an ongoing project. You know, I put something here and don't like it, put it over there and don't like it. I move things around constantly all the time. But I just want to give you kind of a walk through and show you what it's looking like, how it's shaping up I like, excuse me. So, let me turn this thing around. We'll do a little walk through today. Hold on one second. These right here is my little sour Mexican gherkins. How do you want to say that thing? People pronounce it, say it different ways. Uh, two of them right there. There's no here you can see. It's starting to run up the trellis. It's starting now. Last year I had five. I stayed a little bit like that. And all of a sudden they got a good hold of that nutrients in the soil. I mean, he just covered up the little trellis. So, but like I said, you know, still all this stuff over here is the stuff that we're going to have to sell for a friend of mine who passed away, her, her daughter. So once all that's gone, that's going to go the whole patio there. We still have all the outside on. Like I said, I'm going to try to put a little shade deal across the top of that to shade the plants back out there. So, and hibiscus is right here. They're do, getting off to a good start this year. There's a the window over the greenhouse. As you can see, all the blooms that are coming out on it. This one over here had a red one and a pink one the other day. When I bought these things, there's a, a twisted vine that had three colors on it. And I thought I lost them, but I never would give up on them. And they came back last year. This is my ghost pepper. My pride and joy started from seeds three years ago. And it's already off to a good start this year. I don't know if I'm going to cut it back this fall or not. I may just have to see how big it is if I can handle it or not. I'm going to get ready to move it. These over here, I kind of lined up my pots. They was just all clustered, you know. Right in here because we was moving the wood barrel around and stuff. But for the time being, that's where they're kind of going to stay at, like that right there. Then the citronella plant. I'm going to sit in that pot right now. I'm going to have to put it in a big pot. Stake it together so it starts growing up right. to all kind of ways. But I was out here today fertilizing. Some of the stuff with some organic fertilizer. Trying to get a jump start. You can see all those blooms on those Alaska snow peas right there. I'm going to start get a string and pull it back over towards the trellis there. I got one down the bottom down there. I'm going to take this here and pull them over. I have some pods that start to fill out pretty well. If you want to do a stir fry or something. There's something right now you can pull off, pull off and do a stir fry. Um, and the big fern we put in no fire pit. Elf ears are starting to get a hold. They're all starting to come up. These things were huge last year. I mean, just almost to the kitchen window there last year. So, um, so I get a good foothold this year as I compost and take on and off. These ox hearts right here, you can see they got blooms on them. They got some growth. I just got to get out here to, this weekend and get this water tied up straight. Trim off all the lower stuff. Get them all trimmed up so they get rid of the stuff that don't need to be on there. I guess what I'm trying to say. So these right here is a karabi. So I'm going to cover these things back up. And I got some of the BT organic slug stuff I need to spray on these things tonight. I put some organic fertilizer on them today, like I was telling you. Over my onion bed. This lettuce right here, I'm going to have to pick a mess of it and eat it. So, 
Well, and all, it's just a typical garden at this point. The squash is suffering a little bit, but uh, I got some new seeds coming up. You can see it down through there. If I quit moving, that uh, I'm starting to get some definition of some rolls there. What I'm trying to say. So maybe it's going to be quite a late zucchini harvest or whatever. I fertilize this corn and cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, rattlesnake pole beans, sugar snap peas. Put some uh, organic fertilizer on these here. Got to get my roll cover and cover up that uh, brassicas back there because of the Noticing that it is some bugs starting to eat on those leaves. So I'm gonna get them things tucked in there nice and secure. But I went to, for too much rain. There's like no rain back here. So, well, well, gotta take what the good Lord gives me. Just step inside the greenhouse. Ah. Oh, this stuff is flat growing. I gotta get these cucumbers tied up. Get these tomatoes tied up. My Dorsky peppers. The bloom, I haven't seen an extra pepper yet. Yet. Lots of blooms, but. There's the tomatoes here. These are gonna be the first ones. As you see, these things are shoulder high right there. Gotta get a string. I gotta get a string drop down or do this floor to weave a little bit higher up one. So, I seen a um, brown Russian cucumber somewhere down through here. Here it is, right down here. Hold on a second. This is what it looks like now. Get it out of the way here. But that's a brown Russian cucumber. So it should get different colors as it grows. So that's my first big one there. It's starting to be my big one. I'm sure there's some more decent sized ones in here. I haven't spotted them yet. You see there that is going to come along pretty soon. I need to give you a good drip system, soak system in here to keep these cucumbers moist. So, uh, it ain't looking good in here. I'm so thankful I have this greenhouse to put things in and start. So, like I said, I just want to do a walkthrough and see what's been going on besides the patio fence and that, that's right over here is my okra. Let me give me a cross there. That's my okra, those uh, two trays there. I got them outside the greenhouse along the tin. I got some cucumbers over here I need to do something with. and I'm starting to move some of this garage to the outside, up to the patio. So if somebody comes by, I can get rid of some of this stuff. I'm going to downsize my plants. I enjoy them. But I got way too many uh, aloe vera, I can give it away. Cause my mother plant puts them out every year, twice a year. But it won't hurt me to give a bunch away, you know. But look at all those tomatoes right there, these bushes putting out right there. You know, it's, like I said, I, I ain't never grow this variety. But it looks like it's really going to be a good producer. Over here in the strawberry bed. John, go ahead and get out here and pick some more strawberries, it looks like. Look at all these little tomato plants. They're coming up inside this right? the soil. There's little tomato plants coming up all over here. Volunteer plants, I guess what you call them. I also got volunteer tomato plant up there below my hydrant. On my back porch, coming up between the rocks there. I have no idea what it is, but it's a growing. 
So, that's about enough. You can see all the blooms down through there. Yeah. Oh. And uh, I asked this the other day to be part of a team. Arkansas Woodcutter has a thing going. And I'm going to be, uh, I guess that's a hashtag team woodcutter, if I remember right. Better write it down and stick it on my computer screen. I'll mess this whole thing up. So, but yeah, I think it'll be fun. The race is on, as I said on one of these deals. Uh, so I think it'll be fun, you know, kind of keep track of what I grow, what I can, kind of how I went about it. I think it might be a fun summer. We got a lot of people involved in it. They talked me into it, which I'm glad they did it. I just gotta get everything lined up. Give me a notepad and I got a set of scales, produce scales and micro scales. And I got all kinds of stuff, I got herbs. I can pick and weigh, I guess. I gotta find out what all he wants me to do. How many pepper to get off my ghost pepper. I'm gonna really keep track of it this year. Just to see how many I get off this thing. Uh, Nancy said I just want to walk around and show what's going on here today. I'm just clean it up, straighten it up after the overhaul here. I still got a few more boards and stuff to put on the fence. I got to put boards on the bottom because it's a little stormy. She's done learn how to go underneath the boards. Because I came in from town a while ago, she was in the driveway waiting on me. Just sitting there waiting on me. So I'm going to have to fix her little fanny so she has to stay in the yard, not in the driveway. So, but y'all have a super afternoon and come on back and see what else I can get into around here. Y'all take care of yourself. Bye-bye.